whenever we're at the hawker centre, I give him money and he gets his own food. Start them young, my friends. Start them young. Hi, a warm welcome to you and you're watching Gregsby Eats and I'm here at the Blue Zone of Chinatown Complex to talk about Wuzi cooked food. Okay, context. It is a Thursday morning. You notice long queues at this stall for their laksa and prawn noodles. Actually, the queue starts right beyond that pillar lah, over there. And it is one of a handful of long queues that happen at this hawker centre in the morning. Once you look at the stall's frontage, you'll understand why. It's only a mere $2 for a bowl of laksa or a bowl of prawn noodles. Pay me. And that is incredibly rare and cheap in Singapore these days. Wuzi Cook Food started business as a street side hawker along Smith Street in 1965. In 1986, they transferred up to Chinatown Complex and they have been here ever since. The stall is now run by the third generation. So come, let's have a taste. Okay, so I'm back from the stall with two two-dollar bowls. One bowl of laksa and one bowl of prawn noodles, hey me. And the portions, considering it is two dollars, right? They're actually pretty remarkable for the price. So let's see what you get in the laksa bowl. You get one fish ball, you get one half of a fish paste stuffed green chili. You get two fried wontons, and then you get two cut up tau pok, bean curd puff. And then you have some dried shrimp, and then you get noodles and you get some bean sprouts. You can opt for any combination of noodles if you want. Lah. There's the thick bihun, there's the thin bihun, and there's the yellow mee. Lah. Now for the hei mee, prawn noodles. Lah. The hei mee is actually quite um, surprisingly good. The laksa is nice, but the hei mee is nice because he actually hand cuts the fish cakes, you see. And then they are actually fairly thick. So for example, look at this one. So you get three pieces of fish cakes. And they're quite decently thick as you can tell. And then you get some sliced pork, three slices, again hand sliced. And then prawns, which are hand sliced. Now. And I ordered it with yellow noodles and bean sprouts. And then it's topped off with uh, pepper and uh, fried onions. Now. now they get roughly equal orders like, for both dishes, but maybe the laksa is actually more popular. Why? Because it's actually the more compelling one. Let's just try the laksa first, okay? Oh, nice. Lightly creamy, spicy, savory broth. It has an old school laksa broth flavor where the flavor is mainly stock based and probably propped up by dried shrimp. Lah. At Wuchi, there was coconut milk added, but only enough to add a little bit of creaminess and sweetness into the mix. Wuji's laksa here is similar to what you'd get in Johor, Malaysia where they hold back on the coconut milk where you can taste both the broth and the coconut creaminess at the same time. Nothing really dominates lah. And so it's a big contrast to the Katong style laksa you get today where the coconut milk is very creamy and bold. The spiciness is light so if you want more of it you can add some sambal chilli on the side which is this one over here. They only gave a bit, but you can request for more. But since it's $2, it's a bit hard to request for more. <laughs> yeah. Moderately spicy, gritty, uh, dried shrimp flavour. And not that oil rich, actually. And then, so, um, I'm going to mix it in. Lah. And the chilli sambal, it does quite well in actually boosting the overall flavour and heat. Lah. As for the ingredients, they are... Um, decent lah, you know. So the stuffed green chilli, quite reasonably well stuffed as you can tell. Okay, we have a fried fish ball. Alright, the tau pok should be pretty alright. This one you get two, like half a tau pok I think. So all that is fine. The issue is when you actually come to the fried one time. Obviously, if it's been sitting in the gravy, right, it, um, it gets soft like this. Lah. 
mm, the fried and there isn't much filling in it. So just keep your expectations in check lah. There you go. That's basically the filling lah. So it's not much lah, as you can tell. And even the filling is quite flowery in itself. So I got the remaining stuffed green chilli, some noodles on top and some gravy, add some dried shrimp. A very decent spoon. Very nice. Very old school, very comforting lah. And it's a really big refreshing change to the Katong Laksa style. So, the prawn noodles. So as you can see, it's decently done for the money lah. But it's not something you would travel half across Singapore for. So the broth. Nice. Actually the broth is pretty alright. Savory. I think they add a bit of raw sugar so it is rounded, but it's not sweet lah, you know. You just round off the flavor a bit. So the prawn broth has a reasonable stockiness. Lah. It's got nice savory and rounded flavors. The prawns you get are very small. But it is kind of like reminiscent of old school uh, prawn noodles. Lah. These are the sort of prawns which you used to get lah, in a prawn noodle stall last time. You know, before the advent of like jumbo prawns and all that stuff. These sort of prawns, you would see them maybe about 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. It's about 30 years ago like, at least, you know. It's very nice because they're not crystal prawns. They are actually prawns. Again, he actually slices them all on the spot over here. That's part of the reason why the queue can be a bit long, a bit slow, because he actually uh, prepares every individual item before he actually puts it into the bowl, which is, you know, um, keeps it a bit fresher, I guess. The blanched pork, quite reasonably cut. It's, at least it's not sliver thin, like some stall do it. Lah. And the fish cake, the fish cake, as you can see, you get three of them and they're very reasonably sliced, hand sliced again. Then you get whatever staple you want lah. Yellow noodles, bihun, your beans box. Okay, finished. But I want to head back to the store uh, one more time because they've got actually three size options. $2, $3 and $4. So I want to try the upsize versions lah to see what you get for more money. So, see you in a few days. Okay, warm welcome to you. This is day two at Wu Chi Kok Food. And I ordered the largest of everything here, okay? I ordered the prawn noodles, $4. I ordered the laksa, $4. And then I ordered $2 of fried wontons to show you that it's actually much better if you don't add any gravy to it. This is crispy, obviously. Everything comes in a much larger bowl, larger portions. More noodles, more bean sprouts. Obviously, these portions are meant for large eaters. Okay, how many prawns do you get? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, is there any more? Okay, six half prawns which are over here. Then you get fish cake which is one, two, three, four, five, six also. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Six half prawns, six fish cakes. Then for sliced meat you get one, two, three, four, five. Is there a six? So six, six and five. So five sliced meat over here. More noodles, more bean sprouts. So it is almost exactly double the amount. For the laksa, you also get more or less double the amount. Huh? You get three fried fish balls. Yeah, you get, um, I think about four or five tau pok. Four tau pok, I just counted. Then fried wontons, you get three. And then stuffed green chilli, you get two. But let's try the new dish, which is basically the fried wontons without the gravy. And so it should be crispier, and it is crispier. Look at this. Quite crispy lah. Yeah. Not flowery la. We really only eat it for the fried flour. And the inside, the filling is so much and it's flowery as well. So it's not something I would recommend, but I do see quite a few orders for it. La. Today I actually asked for more chili. 
So I'm gonna see what it tastes like with even more chili this time around. I'm pretty sure it will taste quite awesome. Mmm, wow. Spicier, grittier, much more of a savory punch. Very nice. Okay, I think I'm finished now. Okay, so that was a look at Muji Cook Food, which is well the two dollar option at least. It is one of the cheapest. I mean, I don't use the word cheap like Leila, but for many people, it is probably one of the most value for money hawker food that I can find in Singapore currently right now. I remember there was a time when I used to do like the cheapest two dollars, two fifty meals in Singapore. I think a few years back lah, but that quickly went out of date because the prices increased so much. So the fact that Muji Cook Food has actually maintained a two dollar option is incredible lah, to say the least. And the portions are quite generous too. And I can see why they actually kept it at two dollars. And it is really to cater to all the older folk living in the area lah. They have smaller appetites, so smaller portions, and they can't afford as much. So now, would I travel half across Singapore to eat here? It is a borderline case. But that being said, right, there are actually one or two or three points about this laksa and hey me, which actually makes it worthwhile coming here lah. Firstly, obviously, as I stated, is the laksa gravy, which is not the katong laksa type. The other thing also is that the hae is actually surprisingly good. And it is actually very nice that they actually use real prawns instead of crystal prawns. Lah. And uh, crystal prawns are really just not worth it. Lah. It doesn't taste like prawn to me. As for the fried wontons on the side, um, it's not worth it to me. But I can see why people like them. Lah. So if you're in the Chinatown complex area, right, and especially if you live here or you're working here, right, this store will be a good staple to go to. Lah. So, thanks for watching another episode of Great Sweet Eats, where you chew the whole of Singapore. If you liked this episode, give it a like, subscribe, comment below, turn on the notifications bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, one more thing, I forgot to say that uh, Uchi Cook Food, the food runs out very, very fast. I think about 10 o'clock or 10 30 later. Uh, it starts at about 6 or 7. It can also close even earlier than that. So like for example now, that's Uchi over there. It's now like just after 9.30 and it has finished. So if you want to try the stall, get here early.